What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today, guys, I've been on a work trip, so I'm a little late with this video, but I gotta give you guys my thoughts on Constable Odo from Deep Space Nine over there at X06. Now, the pre-order is up, the price is reflected, and I've got some takes on the likeness as well as what the character comes with. So stick around. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show, and let's get into it. I give you Ben Thomas. Here we go. Okay guys, so let's give some brief history on Odo here before we look at the Exo 6 figure. If you guys already know the history on Odo and you just want to skip to my thoughts on the Exo 6 figure, skip to about the 3 minute and 25 second mark. So Odo is an alien male, middle-aged, kind of a curmudgeon, and a shapeshifter. Now in his natural state, he's more like a gelatinous liquid than a person, it's, it's weird, but he was a Bajoran law enforcement officer on the space station under the Cardassians. Now Starfleet decides to have him continue in that role since he's extremely savvy about the promenade and all who frequent it. His backstory is, 50 years ago, with no memory of his past, he was found alone in a mysterious spacecraft that appeared on the Denorius asteroid belt. Now he was found by the Bajoran and lived amongst them. At first he was sort of an elephant man of sorts, and a source of curiosity and humor, he also turned himself into weird things like a chair and a pencil. But finally he kind of realized that he would have to take the form of a humanoid to assimilate and function in their environment. And he does it but kind of resents it. And as a result, Odo performs a uniquely important role in the ensemble of characters that is Deep Space Nine. He's a character who explores and comments on human values because he's forced to pass as one of us. His point of view usually comes with a cynical and critical edge, but he can't quite get it right, this humanoid shape, though he continues to try. So he looks a little unfinished in a way, which is kind of why you're seeing this with the character's face for the most part. Now he's been working on it a long time. Someone might ask him, why don't you take the form of a younger man? His answer, I would if I could. He has the adopted child syndrome, one might say, searching for his own personal identity. Although he doesn't know anything about his species, he is certain that justice is an integral part of their being because the necessity for it runs through every fiber of his body. It's like a racial memory of sorts. That's why he became the lawman. He has a couple of Bajoran deputies, he doesn't allow weapons on the promenade, and once every day he must return to his gelatinous form. But that's just a brief history. If you want to know more about the character, I definitely suggest watching the show. They also have some pretty interesting novels that aren't technically canon, but do give a little bit more context to who he is as a character. And I kind of like it. To me, it feels a little more canon, even if it's not necessarily considered that by Star Trek fans. Deep Space Nine, it's definitely worth the watch. Let's talk about the 1-6 scale X-06 pre-order figure that we're looking at today though. For the details, the pre-order end date is December 1st of 2023 for Odo here. The estimated delivery as of right now is the second quarter of 2024. Now, of course, that's dependent on where you get yours from. I recently got a Locutus of Borg from Sideshow, and that shit took forever. Something to consider. Now, it's coming in at $215 plus $25 flat rate shipping. That's directly from X06, of course. He comes with a few things that are a bit of a rinse and repeat, similar to what we've seen with past releases, but he also does have some new stuff here as well. So he comes with a newly designed, something we haven't seen before, Bajoran security uniform. The colored outfit matches Odo's look in season three through season seven. A Bajoran communicator badge that is permanently affixed to the tunic. A removable belt is included. His boots are sculpted to match the style of the original footwear. He does come with the, again, rinse and repeat TR-590 Tricorder X. This is the standard Starfleet Tricorder, which is held, closed, and opened by a magnet. He also comes with, again, another rinse and repeat, the personal access display device. Now, I understand it's Star Trek. A lot of the characters come with that shit, but guys, they're all very unique people. We are starting to see quite a bit of rinse and repeat with these accessories. Now, the special accessories, though, that are of note, which I do think are very cool. The Bajoran Bucket, it's a pail that's used by Odo to rest in his liquid form. 
kind of cool. And the shape-shifting Odo, a gold translucent half-transformed Odo, which is a really cool inclusion. I gotta say, for that Exo 6 Bravo, I, I gotta give you a point for that one for sure. In the photos, it is suffering from some of the same challenges that I've mentioned on past videos. Some of these photos are a little bit blurry, it's a little bit photoshoppy, it's a little hard to see, but I feel like with this one I actually get the picture a little bit easier, if that makes sense. I think I can tell what it's going to look like. The tailoring does look a little bit baggy, I must say, but honestly I think that might just be something that you can futz away a little bit and I think it will give a little bit of dynamic posability for a character that I mean is gelatinous in form. He can't be totally static. He's got to be able to move around a little bit. I also think that the longer sleeves will hide the ugly wrist pegs a little bit better than some other characters we've seen from Star Trek so far. The half gelatinous form that comes with it I think is really really cool and the pail is a really neat inclusion. I would say that that makes that extra cost worth it, otherwise this figure would be in the lower price range. So for that I actually gotta give Exo 6 another point. I think that the price here is fair. Now while I do think that the figure does look good by itself, when I do compare it to the photos of the actual character and the actor in makeup, I have to say that I do think that there are some misses here. I think that the tailoring again needs to be a little bit tighter on the body, even though I do like that it gives imposability. But the likeness is not quite there, the eyes aren't quite as oval shaped and rounded, the hair isn't quite the right color, and honestly the head shape is also a little bit more slender and not quite as round as Odo's head was in the show. Now I don't like comparing directly to a real life photo because sometimes I think that that's kind of unfair, but in this sense even though the character is a little bit unfinished, I feel like it shows poorly when comparing next to the actual photo of the character for me. But guys, I passed the question back off to you. Are you guys thinking about picking this figure up? Yes or no? Do you think the price is reasonable? Do you think that the likeness is actually pretty solid to the actor? Or are you one of the folks out there saying it's kind of soft and you know, don't really like it, Ben? I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments down below, as always, especially with regards to the Star Trek videos, because you know what? I love talking to Trekkies. <laughs> I just do. It's a great time. You guys are the best. So guys, thanks for watching another XO6 pre-order video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, definitely helps the channel, and of course, I appreciate it. But if you also are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these Star Trek videos or any other random ass content I put out there going forward. Guys, this is the Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one.